Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to another video. So we're going to jump straight into today's video. Today we're going to be doing some hairstyles. You guys have been asking me to show you some hairstyles, so here are some hairstyles. So we're going to be using the basic stuff, some leave-in conditioner, some combs, some hair ties, and obviously your spritz bottle and what you're going to be using to tie your hair, some yarn. On. so obviously the cap needs to come off and I need to undo my um, braids that I had put in I had this over the week while I was at uni and I just wore caps pretty much the whole week <laughs> so you're gonna start by moisturizing your hair so you can undo whatever protective style you had in your hair Obviously making sure you separate and you um, remove all the lines of demarcation that were put in your hair. Alright, so we're going to jump straight into the styles. First style is a mohawk. I used to love doing this style when I first started as a natural hair girl. Um, it's really cute, really easy, really simple. Obviously, you put a little bit more care than what I did there. Mine was a really rough job, but you get the gist. So that's the first hairstyle, and we're going to jump into the second hairstyle, which I start off by doing sort of like a flat twist at the back of my head. This isn't really good. I usually do it better, but obviously, I'm just trying to get this video done. So you can either even do a braid or a flat twist or even just like position your hair and then bobby pin it if you're just feeling a little bit lazy. So then you bobby pin the sides of your hair, you bobby pin the, the flat twist or the braid that you just put in. And you just shoot out the fringe and there you go. But that's one of my favorite styles, especially when I'm going out to a classy event or something along those lines. You can also use the same style and um, add a head wrap or a duku, whatever you want to call it, whatever you call it in your language. Add a head wrap to it. This is really cute, really simple, really easy. And it just makes your outfit look really cute. See how my outfit went from like, you know, basic to, oh, you know, cute. <laughs> so you can style the head wrap however you like. You can add a bow. You could just, you know, tuck it in. You can add a little circular thing at the top, whatever you want to do. So the next style is just a half up, half down, your hair down. Obviously with afro hair, your hair doesn't really go down. So it's more of just like half up, half afro <laughs> type situation. But obviously you make sure you, you know, flatten your hair out a little bit more and make it a little bit nicer than what I made it look like. And then the next style is similar to that. So it's a... Half hair up, half hair down. I use yarn to tie up my hair. You can use whatever works best for you. Yarn seems to work really, really well for me. I've been using it for so many years. So pretty much you put your hair in sort of like a medium um, puff at the back of your head. And then you sort of situate your fringe so that it's, um, you know, pointing sort of downwards and it's not just pointing straight in the air. And you've got yourself a little fringe and a little puff. Really, really cute, really simple, really easy look. Obviously, there's heaps of variations of the puff. You can also... Um, do some extra stuff to your puff so here i'm just adding two flat twists you can add braids you can add cornrows 
you can really make your puff dynamic and you can really make your puff you you know experiment it's it's up to you to decide what you want to do and what you're capable of doing if you can't do cornrows you do a flat twist if you can't do a flat twist add some you know decorations some beads whatever it is to just make your little puff just that little bit different from everybody else then obviously there is my favorite which is the pineapple puff which is the puff right at the top of your head I love the pineapple puff this is my go-to thing then there is the top knot if you guys have seen my top knot video um, I'll link it below so you can see my top knot video how to do it if your hair is short but my hair since my chop has grown so I can just do a top knot without needing any assistance You can zhuzh up your top knot by, you know, adding a scrunchie or adding some decorations just to make it a little bit different. So this is one of my go-to um, looks when I, one of my go-to hairstyles when I'm at uni or things are a bit stressful in my life and I just don't want to maintain my hair. So this is just um, a flat twist. You can do two flat twists like this, even make it into, or two cornrows like this. This is my go-to when I'm wearing caps and stuff like that. You can also, which is one of my favorites, this is one that you can actually, you know, sort of rock out and it'll still look like a little cute look. This is sort of like your milkmaid braid. So it's the braids that's around your head. So you just, again, do your two flat twists and then you tuck them into one another at the back so that it looks like one circular horseshoe shape. That's all for today's video. I hope you guys have liked this video. Make sure to like, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys next week. Mwah.